a good video. Finals suck, we all know, but I'm gonna show you guys some tips to make it a little bit better. And with finals, it comes summer, or at least like a break, which is awesome. And speaking of summer, this is actually going to be my last video before I start my summer series, which is so much fun. I have so many fun videos planned out for the summertime. I'm going to start uploading it twice a week again, which is so fun, I'm so excited. But yes, like I said, this video is going to be all about finals and how to like get an A without studying, but it's kind of just like tips to study, so you still have to study, but you know what I'm saying. And yes, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. <laughs> for you guys is to write stuff down instead of typing it out so close that laptop shut off word do all that stuff and just pull out a notebook and a pencil and write everything out In this situation repetition is key I like to write stuff down like five to ten times each that way it's like embedded in my brain I find that this helps because it's kind of like muscle memory in a way like you're just remembering how you wrote it out and you're remembering reading it and everything like that so yes ditch the computer pick up a notebook <laughs> I'm showing you guys a really cute outfit for finals. So I actually read that dressing up on the day of your final is actually going to make you do better on the test. So I have this really cute romper on from Forever 21 with a jean jacket also from Forever 21. I think this outfit is so cute. It's also really comfortable, which means it's perfect for finals. On the sound tonight. So my next tip for you guys would be to take breaks or break things up into small chunks. So study for like 30 minutes and then take a break. That way you are always focused and you're not just like falling asleep and not even absorbing what you are trying to study. Don't get tired. Grips on your waist. Front Okay, so the next thing that I read about is to make sure that you are including omegas 3 and 6 in all the foods that you're eating before your test or while you're studying. So I'll see you something that includes both omegas 3 and 6. And eating stuff like this will help you to stay focused and to ease your anxiety. So I think it'd be awesome to like go grab an acai bowl like while you're studying or like on a break or something like that. And it's also just a great excuse to go get an acai bowl. Go, higher power's taking a hold on me. I need one dance, got in a seat in my head. for you guys would be to work out or do some kind of like yoga or something before your test or while you're studying this will help to stimulate your mind and will also just like make you feel better overall Okay, so my last finals slash study tip for you guys would be to get a change of location. I think it's super important to get out of your room and out of your house and away from like the distractions and go to a new place. So I went to this really cute coffee shop that is near me and I just studied for my English final and yeah. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Subscribing is totally free. It just means you'll get updated whenever I post a new video. So if that sounds fun to you, then be sure to click the little red subscribe button down below to get notified whenever I post a new video. I have been trying to vlog some more lately. I've not been like daily vlogging or anything like that, but I think I'm going to try to start uploading vlogs like three times a week or something like that over my vlog channel during the summer. So go subscribe to my vlog channel to get notified when I upload some vlogs. Also be sure to follow all my social media accounts. I will have them all listed down below so you can go and follow me and add me and all of those things like that and yes that is all that I have to say for this outro thank you guys so much again for watching I love you to the moon and back see you guys next week with my first summer video bye loves